Some local parks are practicing social distancing guidelines during the coronavirus, but less people are going outside. 12 News meteorologist John Conway is live at Friendship Park in Ridgeland to tell us if more parks are shutting down and what to expect on the pollen count during allergy season. John? Well, normally on a beautiful evening like this, we would see lots of families and children out here on the playground equipment making all kinds of noise and having all kinds of fun. But on this evening, the park is ruled by half-crazed Mississippi squirrels and intrepid walkers who are out and about practicing social distancing on the walking trails here at Friendship Park. Now, various stay-in-place orders are resulting in a lot of our public parks being closed. However, many of our walking trails are exempt from that. And as we just heard from uh, Ken, we have some really nice dry weather coming up for at least the next couple of days. So before you hit the trails, you're going to have to be contending with a microscopic health hazard that we've been having to contend with here in Mississippi. And I'm not talking about coronavirus. I'm talking about the abundance of pollen in the atmosphere. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'm going to talk about a few ways that you can help protect yourself from the pollen without having to resort to medications, including how some of your coronavirus gear may be able to help you. Until then, we're live at Friendship Park in Ridgeland. I'm John Conway. Back to you in the studio.